I'd like to start by emphasizing a critical point about the Redmi Note 13 Pro. It comes in two versions. The Helio G99 is for the 4G variant, while the Snapdragon 7's Gen 2 powers the 5G model. It's essential to be aware of this discrepancy to avoid a repeat of the confusion seen in the Note 12 Pro series, where many unintentionally acquired the older 4G version, mistakenly assuming it was the latest release. Mid-range performance. In terms of performance, the Redmi Note 13 Pro falls squarely into the mid-range category. Its standout feature is the emphasis on the screen experience, making it a worthy consideration for those who prioritize display quality. However, it's not the go-to choice for avid gamers, especially those engaged in high-intensity gaming sessions. Personally, as a busy teacher, I find the phone more than adequate for my needs. I've tested it with games like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty Mobile, and the performance has been smooth without any noticeable frame drops. For users like me, who require functionality beyond gaming, it seems well-suited for at least the next two years. Alternative Considerations while the Redmi Note 13 Pro has its merits, it's worth exploring alternative options. The Redmi Note 12T Pro and Redmi K60e are suggested as potentially better choices, especially for those who prioritize casual gaming and reliable camera performance, including steady 4K video recording. First Impressions Having recently purchased the Redmi Note 13 Pro, I am impressed with the initial experience. The device feels well-built and valuable in hand. The battery performance appears promising, providing ample usage time. Coming from the Mi Max 3, the display upgrade is noticeable and appreciated. However, I find the 120Hz refresh rate a bit too fast for my liking. Unfortunately, there isn't an option to set it to 90Hz, which would have been more optimal for my preferences. Camera Insights While I haven't extensively tested the camera, initial impressions from YouTube videos indicate a potential disparity between the selfie camera and the main camera. Some sources suggest the selfie camera might outperform the primary one. However, I reserve judgment until I've had a chance to explore the camera features more thoroughly. My first impressions of the Redmi Note 13 Pro are positive, particularly regarding build quality, battery life, and display. However, potential buyers should be mindful of their specific needs, especially if gaming or camera performance is a primary consideration.